been tested in court. Mike Jensen, NBC News, Portland, Maine. That's NBC News at Sunrise for this Monday morning. I'm Ann Curry. I'll see you tomorrow. what the best medicine for a sick child is? Here's a hint. It has nothing to do with taking any medicine. America Close Up explains. Don't miss it on NBC Nightly News tonight. Fire strikes twice in the same house to the surprise of its residents who were in a motel after the first fire. Police search for a 60-year-old missing man who is schizophrenic and needs oxygen to survive. And Bobby Rahal makes history, but there is no glory in this distinction. Hello, I'm Tim Scott. And I'm Allison Ash. We'll have those stories and all the news, weather, and sports coming up next on News 4 at Sunrise. Join Channel 4 in the fight against drugs. Just say no to drugs and alcohol every day. Stay with a team that makes an impact in Greater Columbus, the News 4 team. It sizzles like summer, and it won't last long. Introducing Red Lobster Summer Seafood Feast, one of our biggest seafood combinations, just $9.99, with scallops hot off the grill, fried clams, a fish filet, plus you get two kinds of shrimp, succulent scampi and golden fried shrimp. Wow, five kinds of seafood for an incredibly low $9.99. So hurry in and feast tonight, because the Summer Seafood Feast ends soon, only at Red Lobster. We bought too much, so we're clearing out over $5 million worth of name brand furniture for pennies on the dollar. It all must be sold now during the emergency sale at Value City Furniture. Don't miss Jermaine's annual tent event. When you see the deals, you'll be excited too. Just look for the big tent at I-70 East at Bryce Road. You can't miss them. Just for the summer day. Oh, kids. You're watching WCMH for Columbus. This is News 4 at Sunrise from The News Channel in Greater Columbus. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. The family returns to their house, which had a fire in it earlier last night, to find it engulfed in flames. When they arrived, firefighters feared the worst, feared the family was still inside the house at 2843 Fern Avenue because cars were in the driveway. But the family was staying at a motel because of an earlier grease fire in the kitchen and all the mess that it made. That family of six arrived back at the house at about four this morning. No damage estimates yet, and it's believed the fire was caused by an electrical problem that may have been caused by the first fire at the house. A Northeast Columbus man who was trying to break up a fight last night was killed when one of the people arguing grabbed a knife. 47-year-old Robert Simpson of 722 Sunbury Road had been trying to calm Carlotta Rodney and her mother as Rodney fought with her boyfriend, John Lane. Rodney then became angry at Simpson for his interference, so she grabbed a kitchen knife and stabbed him in the chest. Simpson later died at Grant Medical Center. Rodney is in the Franklin County Jail this morning. She is charged with murder. Columbus police are asking for your help this morning in locating a missing man. He is 60-year-old Richard Hoffman. Officers say he walked away from the Good Shepherd Community Care Center at 2120 East 5th Avenue. Officials say Hoffman is schizophrenic and needs oxygen constantly. He had none with him when he left. If you have any information on Richard Hoffman or may have seen this man, you're asked to call this number, 645-4670. High speed may have led to the death of a motorcycle rider last night on the south side of Columbus. Police say 32-year-old Kenneth Bowen lost control of his Harley as he was driving on the on-ramp to 23 from Route 104. The bike hit the guardrail, throwing Bowen to the pavement. Medics worked to save him, but Bowen later died at Grant Medical Center. Another accident last night has left a Columbus woman hospitalized in serious condition, but she was seven months pregnant and she lost her baby. Dina Lewis, her husband Charles, and their three-year-old daughter were driving north on Route 23 in Ross County when their car was hit by a Chevy Impala. Police say the driver, Charles Hupp of Kingston, failed to give them the right of way. He hasn't been charged, but he is in, hot in the hospital in serious condition of sunrise. It's an incredible story of survival and rescue in Ross County. That's where 29-year-old Doug Legg was trapped beneath a mobile home that he was helping a neighbor move. Today, Legg is in serious condition, and Clark Powell has his story. Doug's a real good guy. He's a real good friend. He'd do anything in the world for you. I mean, anytime you need anything, he's there to help you. 
And on this day, 29-year-old Doug Legg was asked to help move a neighbor's mobile home. The ground was soft and wet as Doug crawled underneath. My brother was unblocking the trailer, and they were jacking it up, and... I mean, they don't know what happened. They don't know if the jack slid or what, but the trailer just come down on Doug. Instantly, the weight of the trailer had pinned him to the ground. Trapped from the waist down for more than 20 minutes, Doug was in terrible pain, but somehow he was alive and alert. Bob Newland was working the scene. The soft ground, I think, uh, number one, caused the accident. But in, in, in retrospect, it saved him, too because it kind of pushed him down into the soft ground. And if it had been a little bit harder, but his injuries have been a lot more uh, extensive than what they were. But what was almost as amazing as Doug surviving this accident were the number of people that showed up to help. The call went out immediately that something had gone wrong here. And within a matter of minutes, dozens of friends and family members showed up with hydraulic jacks and shovels. They were able to lift the trailer high enough and dig down deep enough that they were finally able to pull him to safety. They came in a heartbeat and left just as quickly, the trailer still resting on the makeshift supports that freed him. Leg was rushed by helicopter to Grant Medical Center in Columbus in stable condition. He has undergone surgery for multiple fractures on his legs, but his spirit and his family's spirit remain solid. He's really a strong-hearted guy. I mean, if anybody be back and on his feet real quick. He'll be the guy to do it. Doctors say Doug is doing remarkably well. He will keep his legs, though it will take some time to heal. His family tonight says they are counting their blessings and are thankful that so many things went right after it looked like everything had gone so wrong. Clark Powell, News 4, Ross County. A major case of food poisoning at more than 300 customers got sick at an Ohio... Uh, they were customers of an Ohio restaurant. They've come down with all kinds of symptoms. Those affected are patrons of this Milano's restaurant. Milano's is a chain. Those sickened all complained of nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. After dining at this particular store, the restaurant voluntarily shut down at the end of last week so that health officials could investigate to find the cause of the illness. No source has been determined yet. Officials say restaurant managers are cooperating fully with the investigation. All employees also are being tested for infection. Only five of those affected were hospitalized. And Brett Atkins joins us now to look at the weather. It's a little bit warmer this morning mm -hmm. than I remember coming to work last week. A 50-50 weekend in the past. We had a great day, dry day Saturday, yeah. yesterday. Some clouds and spotty showers. And today, pretty much the same story. Some spotty showers, got a cold front coming through. And you're right, it is very mild, 66 degrees. The temperature, the humidity is 68%. The winds are southwest at 9, the barometer 29.87. And today... Cloudy skies with some spotty showers. It'll be breezy and warm today. And there should be about one line of storms right ahead of this front, which will come through late today or this evening. Our high today about 79 degrees. So it's mild now, milder still through the afternoon. But the rain is late afternoon, early evening? Well, there's the, the line of storms will be the spotty showers are just off and on through the day. Okay. Thanks, Brett. Mm -hmm. Coming up next on Sunrise, the final body count is in from Waco, and it's higher than first reported. And in Philadelphia, firefighters are hospitalized after a big blaze at some vacant row houses. News for Weather, brought to you by Bryant. To cool you off, call your local Bryant dealer to the rescue. How do you define value? Is it just a great price? Or does value mean getting a truck with the best mileage, the best exterior corrosion protection, the best resale value, and more standard horsepower than Ford? That's the way Chevrolet defines a rock-solid value. And right now, there's no finer example than the Chevy CK. Oh, and for that great price, go see your hometown Chevrolet Geo dealers for that today. I spend an awful lot of time coming up with our menu. We use local ingredients that are fresh and in season. I would never use a cooking oil that interfered with the taste of the food. Ed Bin, head chef at Granville, Ohio's 170-year-old Buxton Inn. I use soy oil because it never affects the taste of what we work so hard to prepare. We use it in everything, breads, soups, desserts. It's even the secret to our fresh walleye. Soy, taste the food, not the oil. There's a growing respect for life in this country. You can feel it in the renewal of the family, in the return of basic values. And with this new respect, many people 
when faced with an unexpected pregnancy, are deciding to make an extra place at life's table. Because many people are coming to realize that everyone deserves a chance to be born. Life, what a beautiful choice. Some of my favorite memories as a kid growing up in Columbus were the class trips to COSI, Ohio Center of Science and Industry. They were educational and a lot of fun. That's why Nissan North and WCMH-TV are teaming up to send classes of kids to COSI. COSI creates a positive learning experience for kids of all ages. Head north for the best Nissan buys and send a class of kids to COSI, courtesy of Nissan North and WCMH-TV. Sunrise time, 6.09. Two Philadelphia firefighters are in critical condition this sunrise after a wall collapsed at a row house blaze early yesterday. Four other firefighters were also hurt while putting out those flames. Firefighters were setting up hose lines in front of the burning three-story brick structure when the front wall collapsed into the street. Three firefighters were buried underneath the rubble. The others were injured while trying to dig them out. The spire is being called suspicious. And now there are 96. That's the official number of bodies incinerated in the Branch Davidian compound in Waco, Texas. It was discovered that various remains gathered at the site were placed in one body bag and accounted for just one body. It's been five weeks since the 51-day standoff came to its horrific climax. Investigations by the Treasury Department and Congress are ongoing. A would-be carjack victim fought back and himself became the attacker. It happened in Sacramento, California, when the suspect and 21-year-old victim struggled with one another. Finally, the man named Louie managed to knock the carjacker to the ground. He walked up to me. He's already in my face. And he walked up and he put it up to my neck. And he said, he said, uh, well, how about if I just take it from you? I hit his arm that had the, the gun in it, and then I punched him, and he fell down. Unfortunately for this suspect, he tangled with the wrong guy. We're, we're picking up the suspect's teeth over here on the ground. After the struggle, the suspect gave up, and the intended victim walked the suspect across the street to a donut shop and called 911. More than 10,000 people marched through the streets of San Francisco Sunday to rally more support for the fight against AIDS. The vigil was one of many held around the country in a show of support for AIDS victims. Organizers in Washington say they hope President Clinton will do more than the past two administrations have to help in the fight against AIDS. Similar ceremonies were being held in 225 cities and 50 countries. Okay, Brett, this is opening day for Allison Sun's baseball team. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Will they play at 6.30? There is a distinct possibility of that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brett. Oh, we got some rain. It just depends on how badly they want to play and how badly the fields look when or they get out well there. how well the field drains. So right? you yes. don't really know <laughs> well, if it'll be raining at, oh, say, 6.30 this evening. Well, so if it rained until 6.15 all day and then stopped <laughs> raining, what would they do? See, I don't know what they're going to do. But I do know it'll be mild. I do know we'll have some spotty showers off and on through the day and, and a couple of thunderstorms thrown in there for good measure, too. But heaviest amounts of rain will not be in Ohio out of this system. 66 the temperature, humidity is 68 percent, wind southwest to 9, the barometer 29.87. And temperatures are fairly comfortable all in the state. We have 58 degrees at Youngstown, 67 a mild one there at Cincinnati, and 68 degrees at Dayton. Lots of clouds rolling through Ohio. We're looking at generally our weather coming from the southwest. And so let's look back to the west, and you can see Ohio located right here. And coming out of Missouri, still a lot of showers and thunderstorms lining up along the front. There's the front right there. It's a fairly slow mover. The low pressure system itself that is connected with this front is going to track off to the northeast. There's our radar and some spotty showers are with us now. They'll be with us off and on through the day. And you can see that the bulk for the time being has moved off to the north and to the east of us. But let's pull back and look at the uh, regional radar. Once again, remember our weather for the day is going to be coming from western Kentucky, Missouri, Boot Heel, and southern Illinois. And that is going to be shifting toward us. So we got some spotty showers here off and on through the day and a couple of storms too. So forecast calls for a fairly mild day with a high temperature of 79. It'll be breezy through the day as well. And then for tonight, we'll look for showers through the evening, but partly cloudy by dawn, the low 54. Tomorrow, a spotty shower is possible early, 70 for a high, but most of this week after today should be fair. Of course, you know that tomorrow it will rain early. You know that, but that you don't know what time it'll rain today off and on through the day all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh, Brad. Oh. <laughs> Her song, I Am Woman, has become the anthem for the feminist movement. And this Wednesday, Helen Reddy will be in Columbus to share her story. Reddy was once a victim of domestic violence, 
but she escaped the cycle and found a way to rise above it all. Freddie is the keynote speaker and the entertainment at a luncheon called The Gift of Growth. It's this Wednesday at noon at the Hyatt on Capitol Square. For ticket information, you can call 258-6080. And coming up, questions over how contracts were awarded for construction here in Columbus. And we'll have a wrap-up of the Sunday sports picture back in a minute. Laser from Chrysler Plymouth has many real advantages. But the best advantage is the low price of admission to a great performance. Laser from Chrysler Plymouth at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer, where real advantages make a real difference. Off, why not add on a heat pump? Call Climate Control. Our two-speed plus heat pump lowers your energy bills. Call Climate Control today and remember, heat pumps heat, cool, and save. Call my Bryant and rescue me, rescue me. There is no more adorable creature in the animal world than the koala. But as expanding cities devour prime forest habitat, Australia's koalas and other native animals are being injured and orphaned in growing numbers. Their survival may depend on the work of some ordinary citizens who are determined to care for these victims of suburban sprawl. Join host Jack Hanna for the premiere of Koalas in My Backyard in its new time slot tonight at 8 on WCMH4. afraid to leave your house. But it doesn't take courage to venture out in the world. It just takes some common sense. To find out what you can do about preventing cancer, call the James Line. Because we want to stop cancer before it starts. Sunrise time now, 6.15. Two fires in the same house within hours of each other. Fortunately, no one was injured. In fact, the family of six was staying in a motel for the night because of an earlier grease fire in the kitchen of their house at 2843 Fern Avenue. When fire crews arrived on the scene, they thought the family may have been trapped inside the burning building because of several cars in the driveway. But well, that was not the case. All were safe, but the house sustained heavy damage. No estimates are available yet. Officials believe the fire was uh, because of an electrical problem due to the earlier fire in that house. A 25-year-old Columbus woman is in the Franklin County Jail this sunrise after an argument led to a stabbing on the northeast side. Police say Carlotta Rodney was arguing with her boyfriend, John Lane, when her mother and a neighbor, Robert Simpson, got involved. Simpson was trying to break things up when police say uh, Rodney grabbed a kitchen knife, stabbed him in the chest. Carlotta Rodney now faces a murder charge. Police are looking for a man this morning who walked away from the Good Shepherd Community Care Center last night. Hasn't been seen since. The center is located at 2120 East 5th Avenue. The man, 60-year-old Richard Hoffman, needs oxygen constantly, and officials say he is schizophrenic as well. If you've seen this man, you are asked to give police a call at 645-4670. In sports this sunrise, losses for both the Reds and Indians. Play gets underway in the French Open today. Pete Sampras and Steffi Graf are the top seeds. The New York Knicks give the Chicago Bulls something they haven't had yet, a playoff loss, 98-90, game two of their series tomorrow in New York. And can you believe it? Bobby Rahal bumped from the Indy. Here's Douglas Sells with more. For the first time in 12 years, Bobby Rahal won't be in the Indianapolis 500. Rahal qualified the Miller True Sports Chevy last weekend at a four-lap average speed of 217.14 miles an hour. Going into yesterday's final qualifying session, that was the slowest speed in the 33-car field. With just 11 minutes left in the session, Eddie Cheever bumped Ray Hall from the field with a four-lap average speed of 217.599 miles an hour. 
Bobby took to the track in his backup car with just one minute left in the session. That's what you're seeing here, but Ray Hall could manage only 216.82 miles an hour, which meant Bobby was out of the race. The Ray Hall Hogan team will scrap the True Sports chassis for Alola for the rest of the season and try to rebound from Bobby's most disappointing moment in racing. I don't like being embarrassed, and uh, when I am, we usually come back and uh, do pretty well. We did it last year after Portland and last year after Mid Ohio, so uh, uh, you know, I feel bad for the team, for our sponsors. Who, you know, obviously next weekend, what do you say to them? Um, but hopefully they'll hang tough with us and. You know, we'll come, you? Back, we'll come back and get them again. Next oh. year, we'll be uh, contesting for the pole, hopefully. Are you embarrassed? I got, yeah. I got 15 off of this. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you I going to... Uh, I like to win. I don't like to uh, not even qualify for a race. After spending Thursday night in the hospital with chest pains, OSU track star Chris Nellums looked plenty healthy yesterday at the Big Ten Championships in East Lansing, Michigan. Chris broke the seven-year-old conference record in the 100-meter dash with a time of 10.12 seconds. Nellums also won the 200 meters, and he he ran on the Buckeyes winning 400 meter relay team. Nellums was voted the outstanding performer of the meet as the Buckeyes won the team title for the second straight year. Yes. To baseball in Candlestick Park in San Francisco, fourth inning, Barry Bonds takes John Smiley deep, a solo homer. The Giants and the Reds are tied at one. Cincinnati ties it in the eighth when Juan Samuel knocks in Reggie Sanders, but in the bottom of the ninth, Greg Cattere will walk former Red Todd Benzinger with the bases loaded. Robbie Thompson trots home, and the Giants win 3-2. The Indians and the Tigers up in Cleveland, bottom of the fourth. Albert Bell pounds out his league-leading 15th home run. Detroit leads 2-1. The very next batter is Paul Sorrento. He sends out a solo shot. We're tied at two. But in the sixth, Mickey Tettleton drives one deep to center field. Kenny Lofton back to the wall. Will he make the great catch? Uh-uh. Tigers win it 4-2 on Tettleton's two-run homer. Douglas Sells, News 4 Sports. Up next on Sunrise, business news. Federated may be looking for some new stores. And how one service-oriented industry is resorting to the personal touch. But first, some more scores for you. In 1992, the average car dealer sold 384 new cars. Fact, in 1992, Reichert Ford sold 6,114 more cars than their nearest competitor in central Ohio. Any economist would tell you higher volume means lower prices. So no matter what brand of car you're interested in, it makes a whole lot of sense to get Reichert's price before you lease or buy. The facts prove it. These are Rolex watches with oyster cases. They're carved from solid blocks of 18 karat gold and stainless steel to form a seamless, virtually indestructible vault for the intricate timekeeping mechanisms. Aren't they just beautiful? Well, you should know that we have more Rolex watches for you to choose from and frankly sell more of them than any one store in all of central Ohio. So if you're shopping for a Rolex, come see us here at the Diamond Cellar before you spend your money. And here's one going out to all you early risers. So this is what the new Velvet Voice of the Night eats for breakfast? This is a whole grain cereal. With sugar and preservatives. Oh, well, that Kellogg's doesn't have Kellogg's any. Kellogg's Nutrigrain is made from pure whole grain. So? So it's the only whole grain cereal with no sugar added and no preservatives. The only one, huh? Uh-huh. Hmm. And you know what else? What? Hmm? The song's over. Don't talk with your mouth full. Kellogg's Nutrigrain, as good as whole grain gets. Right now, for a limited time, you can get a smart lease for just $449 a month for 24 months on a new 1993 Cadillac DeVille. Right now, for a limited time, you can get a $2,000 cash bonus when you buy a new Cadillac DeVille or Fleetwood. 
it's an outstanding value. So hurry in while the selection is great. Lease it now. Buy it now. Lease it. Buy it. It's your choice. Hurry in for a Cadillac Spring Spectacular now. Sunrise time, 623. Allison travelers had better take their rain gear together. Uh-huh. Bring those umbrellas along, whether you're staying here or whether you're moving on. Brett Atkins has your forecast. We'll check out a few areas that are going to see some rain. Certainly, we're looking at rain off to the southwest of us, and this rain is headed our way. We'll get some spotty showers and a few thunderstorms off and on through the day. And the front should kick off one line of storms as it rolls through, and that'll be later today. Here's our outlook map for anywhere about 6 to 8 o'clock tonight as the front bears down upon us. Heaviest amounts of rain will be down in the Gulf Coast. In fact, most of the moisture is to the south, but most of the energy is right along the front. So we don't have both things that we'd really get a lot of rain or a lot of heavy thunderstorms. we got one, not the other. So here's the way the forecast goes for today. Breezy and warm, spotty showers, a line of storms, and a high today, Jim, of 79 degrees. Ooh, nice. Thank you, Brett. From Pace to Sam's Club, that's the word from Kmart, which owns Pace, whose profits have been hurt by problems with the Pace membership warehouse stores. It says it's selling 14 of the outlets to Walmart Mart Stores, Inc., Walmart will convert the stores, which are located in five cities, to its Sam's Club format. In the past year, Pace's profits have fallen amid intense competition from other warehouse stores, including Sam's Club and Price Club. Federated department stores looking for new stores, this only 15 months after emerging from bankruptcy court protection. Chairman and Chief Executive Officer Alan Questrom provided no details to shareholders at Friday's annual meeting. An acquisition would be the company's first in several years and another sign of its return to fiscal health. Federated has focused on uh, paring back since it was forced into bankruptcy court in January of 1990. If the 80s were the consumption years, then the 90s are value and service driven. Dean Monroe tells us how some businesses are luring the recession-weary consumer with a personal touch. Even though formal service and silver platters are not exactly commonplace nowadays, the 90s consumer still ranks quality service as a high priority. Good personalized service is important to me because my time is limited. I just want good service. Personalized service certainly does keep me coming back. Can you change that and have it all the same fabric on the sofa? One way to get people motivated to spend is with individualized service and the ideas catching on. Now you can view an entire room in a full color photo before purchasing a single piece of furniture. You can see how you'll look in a new haircut before the first snip, or how your home might look with a new paint job. You want to feel that you are something, somebody special. And um, when a company uh, approaches you from a personal basis, uh, something that grabs your interest, that, that uh, is clearly tailored to you, um, you tend to respond. Quality service is one way businesses can keep a competitive edge. Long-distance telephone service is catching on to the trend of personalized consumer attention with customized combinations of products and services. There are 250 million people in the United States, and as amazing as it seems, what the iPlan lets the person do is just take the parts of AT&T that they need for themselves and tailor them into their own plan. Given the changing nature of business, more companies are learning to cater to their customers' needs in order to keep them coming back for more. This is Dean Monroe reporting. We're using AT&T. Still to come on Sunrise, an early morning fire in northeast Columbus at a house that had already burned once. And a Ross County man survives after a mobile home falls on top of him. This is News 4 at Sunrise. Your husband wants total control. Did he ever assault you? And now you're scared to leave him. I'll be lucky if he doesn't know it's me on the show right now, because I can be killed by tomorrow. Make a date with Geraldo. Monday morning at 9, only on Channel 4. Come on and join our team. I'm Colleen Marshall. Channel 4 and the Columbus Clippers invite you to Cooper Stadium on Sunday, June 13th, to celebrate the D.A.R.E. anti-drug program. Students wearing D.A.R.E. t-shirts are going to be admitted free, but it's fun for the whole family. The Clippers play at two, and the celebration continues with a special concert and dance featuring Hot Pursuit following the game. Families get in for just $4. Family coupons are available at all Little Caesars. We'll see you at the game. We dare you! 
Some of my favorite memories as a kid growing up in Columbus were the class trips to COSI, Ohio Center of Science and Industry. They were educational and a lot of fun. That's why Nissan North and WCMH-TV are teaming up to send classes of kids to COSI. COSI creates a positive learning experience for kids of all ages. Head north for the best Nissan buys and send a class of kids to COSI, courtesy of Nissan North and WCMH-TV. Yeah! I want to thank all you mamas who don't tell their children just how deadly crack is. You think they're too young or don't have the money. Huh, my customers are getting younger every day and will lie, cheat, and steal to get more. So thanks for not telling Junior about guys like me. I love getting first crack at them. For a free parent's guide to drug prevention, call 1-800-477-8428. It starts out as a relaxing evening in front of the tube, maxing out in the Lazy Boy, munching on your favorite junk food. But the hours and calories add up, and before you know it, you're a victim of <coughs> death by potato chip. A News 4 close-up tonight on Live at 5. News 4 weather, brought to you by Bryant. To cool you off, call your local Bryant dealer to the rescue. Sixty-six degrees our current temperature, and we do have some light rain in the forecast off and on through the day. The uh, heaviest amounts of rain will be right in the Gulf Coast states, but we'll get our fair share off and on until we get this front through here. That'll be late tonight. Our forecast goes like this for the day. We'll have cloudy skies, breezy and warm today with a high of 79, some spotty showers, and a few storms thrown in there, too. That's a look at our weather. Our top news story is next. You're watching WCMH for Columbus. This is News 4 at Sunrise from The News Channel in Greater Columbus. Good morning. A family returns to their house, which had a fire in it earlier last night, to find it engulfed in flames. There were cars in the driveway at 2843 Fern Avenue, and for a time, firefighters feared the family was inside. But they'd been staying in a motel because of an earlier grease fire in the kitchen, 